Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're here today with another Pleasant View renovation and this is one of our last ones. I have left the sort of condo district for last because I hate these properties so much. The diagonal walls really bother me and I'm never really sure how to furnish the space and use it effectively just because a lot of the items don't work well in diagonals and without the use of cheats you can't even place things on an angle in The Sims 2. So yeah diagonals are a big struggle for me but we are in Don Lothario's house. Sorry I should have opened with that a bit sooner. So please ignore all the rubbish in the garden. Uh, if you've not played Pleasant View before or seen any sort of Pleasant View gameplay Don Lothario is a massive slob and he is a womanizer, blah blah blah. And one of his uh, sort of scripted events is cleaning up his house so he can invite over all these ladies to entertain. So, you know, I didn't want to just get rid of the rubbish, so I have just put it in his front garden so he can clean that up when we go in game. But yeah, that's that's what we're doing today. I struggled a bit with the layout of this house. I didn't really change many of the walls or anything. Uh, I kind of made it a bit more open plan, but then I also kind of regret it because I couldn't get items to, you know, work the way I wanted them to. I have also extended a couple of the walls just because I did want to add in the brick that I put on the Pleasant Vista apartments. So, I wanted to include that on these condos, but it doesn't work as well, I don't think. So I'll, I, I need to try it again with a Caliente condo. Like I do want all the condos to have a very similar feel to them. Like I want them to look like they've all been thrown up by like the same like property developer, the same like construction company. And I want these to look like a sort of flowing street, like a, a, a planned neighborhood. So I want them all to have very similar architectural like design choices and all that kind of thing. That's my sort of thoughts on this. I also have these massive windows that these are meant to be for a greenhouse but I didn't really have anything else like full length that was glass so the glass looks a bit strange on them. I probably will look for more sort of like modern windows I guess that I can replace them with but for the time being you know they do the job. I'm not very good with window placement <laughs> to be honest. My builds I always usually tend to over window and yeah I, I never know if it looks good but you know it is what it is. <laughs> I actually do quite like how the condo turned out. I wanted to sort of keep this a very, a very like bachelor pad kind of house because that is what Dawn is. So I did want to sort of keep that feel to it. I know I said in the Dreamer renovation that I wanted it to be a bachelor pad, but I don't really think I pulled it off. And I mean, a lot of that is down to me. Because like, I mean everyone has like their own style and their own sort of preference on how they like to decorate and the kind of items they think look nice and I am not a bachelor and <laughs> I am not you know into sort of like minimalism or you know what you would typically associate with a bachelor pad so I do think I quite I do struggle to decorate in a way that you know adequately shows off other styles. I do find that quite hard and it is something I have been trying to change. It's like for example with like my goth manor renovation. My my style is not you know traditional goth manor style and I really like how that one turned out and I think I pulled that off quite well. So I have been trying really hard to sort of keep to my sims you know personalities when I decorate and you know sometimes it goes better than others but back to Dawn's house and the bachelor style I do think I might have pulled it off I, I am I am quite happy with how this turned out I also kept a sort of red theme in this house because Dawn Lothario has this disgusting <laughs> red bedroom 
in his original build and I hate Don Lothario's bedroom. I just think it's one of the worst rooms in Pleasant View. I mean, Brandy Broke's bedroom is a very close second, but I really do not like Don's bedroom, but I do like the idea of the red. You know, like the sort of red is a very fiery color. You know, it's the sort of color of passion, blah, blah, blah. I did want that theme to stay in Don's house because I do imagine that he is going to be entertaining a lot of ladies here. I have given him an actual kitchen though. In his like original house, he literally just has a toaster oven, which to be fair, I have forgot to put in this build, so I will need to add that in. But yeah, he just has a toaster oven. So I kind of want to make sure he has like a fridge and a cooker and things. Like Don works in the medical career. So he's not gonna be stupid when it comes to food. Like he's gonna know, you know, that you need to eat like a good balanced diet, if, especially if you want to maintain a lifestyle like he does. So, I mean, he might end up eating a lot of like TV dinners and things, but at least he's got the option to cook to entertain the ladies. <laughs> Yeah, I never use these sort of massive, like, comic book style photos. I don't know if that's what you would describe them as. I don't know if that's maybe pop art. I'm not sure. But I never use those. So I was quite glad I had, like, enough sort of wall space to use it in this build. Because I do think that is very Dawn. And I think that kind of thing, you know, it suits him. So we do have a nice black and white bathroom. I've changed the shape of the bathroom a bit. Like that was one of the things I sort of worked out in this build. And I think I've actually made the bathroom quite a bit bigger. So we did have room for a shower and a tub. Not that I imagine he'll use the tub a lot, but you know, he has the option. I also really like that sort of mirrored wall behind the tub. And I don't know, I just, I like the way it looks. I think it just adds a bit of sort of glam into the bathroom though realistically a bathroom is a bathroom you know <laughs> I don't typically over decorate these just because my sims don't really spend much time in there so I don't really see the point that couch is also a 4 to 2 conversion I am pretty sure that is a Moschino couch I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it's Moschino and I really like that couch but there's very few households I feel like that couch would fit into, especially in Pleasant View. I feel like in Pleasant View, you know, it's typically families that you play. Like Pleasant View is your sort of typical suburban neighborhood. I mean, well, I say typical. Bella Goth was abducted by aliens, so I mean, you know, <laughs> there's a bit of wiggle room with typical. But you know, it's it's a very sort of suburban neighborhood. So a lot of the households have kids, families, you know, blah, blah, blah. There's very few households I feel that couch would work in because a house with kids wouldn't have a couch like that. It, one, it doesn't look comfy. And then two, it's not practical to have, you know, your family sitting around that. So I did think it worked well for Dom because, you know, he doesn't have kids. And if he does, he's probably not gonna have them living in this condo. But I, I quite like how it turned out. I struggled so much with that chair. <laughs> it took me ages to sort of place it. Another thing I have just kind of cut out here is trying to place the desk. I really struggled with that. I couldn't get the chairs to snap into the desk. So I did really struggle, you know, getting that to work. And, you know, I had to turn off move objects and I had to snap everything to the grid and it was a whole ordeal. Like, I probably spent about 20 minutes trying to place that desk, <laughs> but we did it. I also have added a bit of extra money into Don's family fans, which, you know, at this point I've done it with like almost all the Pleasant View families. So I don't really know why we're surprised. Yeah, I think I gave Don maybe like an extra 8,000, just so I could finish off. Again, there's still areas in the house that I'd like to improve when, you know, we get into gameplay and start playing, but for the time being, it's done enough. 
I think. But I think I've added money into like almost all the households just so I could, you know, make their houses look the way I wanted them to. Also, I didn't talk about this earlier, but notice the cheese board that I have placed in Dom's kitchen. My idea is that, you know, after like a night of drinking or whatever at the bars, he will invite over his lady friends to his house and maybe they will share a cheese board. <laughs> you know, that was about as far as my idea went with that. You know, the cheese is to impress the ladies because who doesn't love cheese? I mean, you might be lactose intolerant, in which case, you know, cheese hates you, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, the cheese board is just like his entertaining board. When he wants to impress a potential woohoo partner, he will whip out his cheese board and be like, hello, madam, would you like a fine cheddar? And they'll be like, yes. I am such a loser. <laughs> uh, but we're almost finished the build now. We're just working on the master bedroom. I would say the master bedroom is probably like the least done room in the house, which is funny considering this is probably where Don is going to spend most of his time. And this is where, you know, most people are going to see. But as I said, I did want there to be some things that Don could work on, you know, when we start playing. I didn't want the whole place to be like fully done. I just wanted it to look, you know, done enough. The outside deck could also use some work. The only thing out there I think is the bar and the hot tub. I did try, I did end up selling quite a bit of it to you know get some extra money and I did want to make sure he still had the hot tub because again that is going to be like a prime woohoo location. But yeah we are wrapping up so I will do the same. I hope you have enjoyed this build. This is one of the last Pleasant View renovations. The final one we have to do is the Caliente household and then we're going to start our new Pleasant View Let's Play. So that is coming. That is exciting. Well, I'm excited anyway. <laughs> yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you tend to do with Don's house? Do you give it a makeover? Does he move in with Cassandra? You know, what happens with Don in your Pleasant View? I always find that really interesting. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like because I would appreciate that. And I will see you all in the very next one. Bye.